spiritual baddies, entrepreneurs, and everyone in between. You're listening to the Embodiment Podcast, where we dig into who you are behind closed doors. And even if you aren't an entrepreneur or on your spiritual journey, but you're looking for something to listen to while you're on the treadmill, or on the road, or just looking for some new knowledge to gain, welcome. I'm your co-host, Ashley Fry, And I'm Manote Series. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Embodiment Podcast. Today, we have an extremely special episode and a actually recommended topic. Um, so we're going to go a right into it. A requested. Sorry. requested topic. A requested topic. Um, so today, we really wanted to go into it and, and dive in and, and... Get right into it. Get right into it. <laughs> um, so, Ashley, do you want to explain what the topic is for today's episode? Um, yeah. So today, we're basically going to be talking about your soul tribe, your soul family, and what comes with it, what it feels like, how you know that they're your soul family. Um, but yeah, just conversations along that line. Those lines. And, yeah, those, yeah, lines. <laughs> those lines. So, and I, and I know this kind of resonates, especially today, because it's Shayna's birthday. Um, and I love you. I, you posted a story, right, saying my soul family, right? And it was yeah. us three, because... because who else would sorry you weren't part of that well, oh but... oh oh wow um that's that's a little awkward of course you're part of that's it. that's a little awkward no um but like because you posted that i just thought it was fitting to ask like have you ever felt a deep spiritual connection with someone beyond like your family ties yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah um honestly i think i found more soul connections outside of my actual family ties than I have inside and obviously that's changed and developed over time and there's been people who have come and gone and I think anyone can probably relate to this if they reflect like there's some people that come into our life and they're so instrumental for a little bit and they might feel like soul family they might feel like a soulmate like even if it's a platonic soulmate but sometimes they end up being a twin flame versus Mm -hmm. like an actual soulmate and they were brought into your life to teach you a lesson or to mirror yourself um or mirror stuff that you need to learn and Mm -hmm. um anyways there's my little tangent but I have experienced that with a lot of different people and maybe it's different for everyone in the sense that people value relationships differently or they value their friends differently. But for me personally, I find my soul tribe outwards when I'm looking outside of my family Um, just because I'd say for me, a lot of my spiritual journey and spiritual learning... um, and that path has been outside when I've pulled myself away and kind of just been more alone, right? Because then that's when I've actually, like, been able to find my community and my soul family and my people. Um, but, yeah, so I, to answer your question yes, and yes. not have a Justin Trudeau answer. <laughs> Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Um, no, I definitely, I definitely have found people outside of my family, um, outside of my family ties, and I love those friendships and relationships so much. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, like, you touched on a point about, like, obviously some people not being in your life for the whole, like, some people, you think they're your soul family, but, like, they're not, they're to teach you a lesson, and I like to call those people journey partners, and I think... That's a good way to put it. I, I like, right, because, like, they're with you for the journey, but after the journey ends, they're out, right? Because when you think of, like, a rocket ship, like, I like to use this analogy a lot, but, like, when you think of a rocket ship, it starts off the, on the ground, right? But it's going to go, and then at, when it reaches, like, a certain point of height or latitude or whatever in space, it removes its propellers, right? Like, it gets rid of them because it needs to get rid of them in order to make it out of the orbit. So, like, that's kind of, like, what a journey partner is, in my opinion. And I think that a soul tribe are people that travel with you from every single life Mm -hmm. from like every life that you live there with you along the way yeah and that's why you feel so connected to them yeah and i think in order to be able to acknowledge those people um and sometimes it takes a long time to figure it out sometimes it's like you know right away but if you look at the people that you would consider your soul tribe or your soul family um no matter at one at what point they came into your life, whether you guys live across the country, whether you guys have made big changes, like they're always the ones who are there indefinitely. 
um even if you guys aren't communicating all the time right like they're the ones that support you from afar they're the ones that um even if you guys aren't talking they keep up with you on social media or when they can they're the ones that you could facetime or call after not seeing them for six months Uh, you know what i mean and they're the ones that like nothing changes when you guys are apart for so long the spark doesn't die like that's the thing yeah it's not like because sometimes you feel like you need to constantly be communicating with people because you're like, oh, I need to like keep this relationship going. But with some people, it's like, well, if we don't talk for a month or two months or whatever, I know I'm going to go back and it's going to be the same relationship. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be any different. And that's because you understand. I think a big part of those relationships is understanding because as we get older and we grow and we experience life and we have different journeys and different mm-hmm. experiences... Like, I can't be holding your hand every step of the way. You know what I mean? And you can't be holding mine. So if you can... I don't know. I feel feel as though some people take it personally when someone goes without talking to them for, like, three Mm -hmm. or six months when they're just caught up in their own shit. But I think those are really the times when, like, hey, neither of us have, like, talked to each other in a while. How are you doing? That's when you need to reach out to that person. Um, Not need, but it's probably appropriate to right um and yeah just not taking that personally understanding it's like an unwritten understanding that hey Mm -hmm. i got you no matter what and you bringing up shana's birthday i think that's the perfect example not my awkward like (laughs) um i think that's the perfect fuck this is going on the internet (laughs) that's the perfect example that friendship and as i've gotten older um I can reflect back on many different years of my life where Shayna has been a part of it Mm -hmm. and we never had the same friend group. We never like hung out with a bunch of people all at once. If we did, it was like a collection of a few of our friends and us. Um, But every step of the way, no matter we go three months, six months, a year without talking, we'll always prioritize when we have the time and when it's in front of us. We always prioritize that catching up that support that like being there and loving each other and like Shane and I started to get close maybe grade six okay grade we like I don't know it was like a weird phase I think from like grade eight to like grade 10 where everyone was just kind of figuring themselves out in high school right and so mm-hmm. she had her big friend group I had my friends and I think we would see each other every once in a while but it was never like those years I can't specifically say that I remember it being a big priority yeah um but then like grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 i remember her coming to my school dances um like we ended up being neighbors at one point and like i would go for walks down to her house to go see her vice versa um and like again our families never really like even though we live close to each other our families never really got super close or anything but we always found a way to make that time for each other eventually when i was in first year university and she came to toronto um like i got to see her i like we went to jack astor's young and dundas square my little 18 year old ass and her 17 year old no she must have been 16 at the time actually 16 yeah didn't get because she's my age she's yeah but her birthday is um today today (laughs) (laughs) is october sorry i was thinking about the month there i don't remember um what month she came she was either 16 or like freshly 17 and also I, or, her birthday not knowing we're like oh <laughs> no 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 i just i froze thinking yeah, about yeah, month. yeah. i was like what month is it so hashtag soul tribe <laughs> i hope you laugh at this shit. <laughs> but, you better be watching but yeah um ordered a bottle of wine at jack astor's didn't get id'd we got smashed i don't remember getting home i remember waking up at 7 a.m with her she had her fucking headphones in we went and made popcorn um and then fast forward like throughout covid i think i saw her occasionally but it was never like like we just didn't hang out a lot during covid and then um i was also caught up in my own stuff and she had her own stuff right again that just goes to show i was in a like certain phase in my life that i needed to go through Mm -hmm. and she let me be and she let me do that and she would check up on me occasionally and then fast forward to school last year she came to toronto saw her like a day or two we didn't like hang out that much because she didn't have that much time here but then fast forward she moves to toronto for the summer you know what i mean like she came in february yeah february we went and got tattoos together at the beginning of this year um but it just goes to show like that 
is a timeline of a friendship um, that I really value because no matter what, we've never stood in the way of each other. We've always been supporting each other. Um, and we, it's you can feel, and I think as time goes on, that feeling grows, right? Like you can just grow a lot more appreciation for that relationship and that support, right? I'm just trying to spit out words right now, but it just, I don't know, can you think of somebody that you've had in your life that like is that for you Ooh, it's a tough question because like i think there's there's a few people that come to my mind and like an example of that is like you for example like that's no one person, again that's another right? yeah but like mainly because when we were talking about the fact of you know you can go a long period of time without seeing them and still come yeah. back and have the same relationship like during the summer we didn't see each other for like months like literally like months on end and then we came back and every time we did see each other it was like nothing had changed like it was yeah. like we were just like, well and there was like, a point too where you and i would facetime every day and then yeah. that like i hadn't called you you hadn't called me for like three yeah. months right so we were just... both busy it was like crazy hectic and then like we both understood that yeah and it wasn't like we didn't take each other and be like oh my god we're not friends anymore because we haven't talked like no we still knew we were still validated in our friendship and we knew that it was still strong it, it would just be we were on our own paths doing our yeah. own things and then we we're going to reconjoin yeah and i think that's something as you get older that should become a priority to you priority to you uh, sorry i felt myself stutter over that <laughs> yeah. but if your friends are dealing with some shit or if you're dealing with some shit let it happen like let don't have these outrageous expectations when we all have different issues going on different lives different goals to reach doesn't yeah. have to be issues goals are a big one too right and sometimes reaching those goals means cutting out from society for like three months completely and then yeah. you can slowly like diverge yourself back in again but yeah i think as an adult that's something that you really need to prioritize and it it should be something that reflects as you get older or else the relationships that you're going to have around you are going to like inherently become really unhealthy and they're going to drain you yeah right and i've I've realized that like just in terms of like we we, we went from soul families to relationships but i mean it, i think it's so important. but i think i think they're I think they interchangeable yeah right yeah, you I, can use them interchangeably exactly and i think that both they're very important topics to discuss for the main reason that the people you surround yourself with is, are, is who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. And your the soul The people tribe, you surround yourself with make or break you. They make or break... Exactly, right? And we've talked about... The, I feel like a broken record because I, I think I say this every single time, but, like, it's so important. I was even having this conversation today um, because... Whenever anybody says the five people you surround yourself with, I'm like, yeah. hold up, yeah. podcast. Yeah, you want this? <laughs> no, because... I'm like, where's Mano? Yeah. I, I was... I was um, I, so I had a coffee chat with a friend today because um, she was like, hey, man, oh, I want to like get coffee with you, whatever, like just talk. And I was like, OK, I didn't know what it was for. I thought maybe because usually when people ask me to coffee chats, it's like to get advice on their website or to help build a content strategy for them. I, I just had a voice crack. It's but okay. um, it was cute. It was, <laughs> it was to, to, <laughs> essentially right. Like I thought it was just going to be OK, like help me do something. So I was like, OK, so I went and I was like, yeah, what's what's going on? She's like, I just wanted to hang out with you. And I was like, oh, 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 I, well, I mean, I appreciate that. Like, like, and then we started talking, whatever. And she was like, yeah, you were in class. I, I saw you in class. And every time I heard you speak, I just had comfort. Like, like, she was like, I, I she was like, that's really sweet. I, I know. I, I was like, that's so nice. And she was like, I, I don't know why. She's like, I knew I needed to be around you when every time and anytime we'd be in class and I heard your voice, I was like, I'm, I'm in peace. Like, I'm comfortable yeah. now that I hear his voice. And I was like. That was the best compliment I could have ever been, like, given. I was like, wow, like, just the fact that she said that. And I was like, well, I mean, thank you. I appreciate it. And, I, and, cause, and she was like, yeah, and I always remember when you were in class, you'd always say, I love, um, I'm so glad to see you here. I love your energy. You're so positive. So she was like, I just needed to, like, I want to be friends with you. It's just because I feel, like, so, like, you know, That's drawn really, to you. really sweet. I know. So I was like, okay. And that goes to show you, too, that, like, there is something about your energy that is enticing, that is positive that is balancing you know what i mean yeah and and that's but that just also shows you how important energy is yeah because like people can feel energy and a lot of people now are spiritual um which is why we're like at, 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 most of our topics that we talk about intertwine right there <laughs> yeah jesus i saw that we have a sign by the way for the for the people listening and not watching for the people who are not 
Square. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going to say it. Um, but I don't know what I was going to say, we, but we, I'm not going to say it. Jesus is watching. That's all that matters. Um, speaking of Jesus, a lot of people talk to me and they try to integrate, or they, I guess they integrate the notion of God family with a soul tribe. Yeah, I think, and I also think, okay, relation to that, um, some people really diss when people say the universe or mm. some people diss when people say God, right? And I think no matter the source that you are looking up to, trusting, um, it shouldn't really matter what anybody else is using as long as everybody is being respectful. And I think that's the most important thing. Um, but yeah, God, sorry, I just, I needed to make note of that before we talk anything about the word God, because I know some people are sensitive to, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, or s- I just don't want anything to get taken the wrong way, even if there is no intention for it to be a certain way. Um, yeah. Okay. Serious conversation done. Let's get back into this. Yeah, yeah, no, I, um, I agree. But yeah, I, it is something that people use to refer it to as like God family. You know what I mean? Um, and there's also like. If you go to church, if you're Catholic, um, I'm not sure about other religions because I'm Catholic, so this is the only reason why I really know this, but, um, like, I have a godmother, so help me God. I don't think I've ever fucking seen her past the age of, like, three years old. I don't know what happened, but, yeah, I had a godmother. I recently became a godmother to my, I'm going to call him my nephew, even though he's my second cousin, (laughs) Um, my baby Jackson. Um, Auntie Smash. Yeah. Hi, (laughs) I'm Auntie Smash. Nice to meet you. Um, But that, okay, so before we were talking about family connections and stuff, I, the one sole connection that I do have, like, truly in my family is my cousin Cassidy. And that is because I think we grew up um, similar age. She's three years older than me. She also has a sister who's six years older. Um, but Justine and I never really got to the same level of closeness that Cassie and I did. And as I've gotten older, like Cassie has really shown up for me in ways, even when I'm not in the province. And it was such an honor to be asked to be Jackson's godmother. Um, and I think it really, like, it kicked me in the butt and said, hey, Ashley, you're an adult now. Like, yeah, yeah. if anything happens to Cassidy, like, I am responsible with a capital R E S P. I'm not going to finish the word. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, but that is such an important connection. So I think putting the word God in there, like, it can be your own family. And I was talking about how, for me, it wasn't necessarily, but there is, like, there is some in my family that I really truly value like that, right? And so I yeah. got lucky to be able to put the label on it too. Right? But, Auntie Smash the Godmother. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering why we're wearing white. Yes, if you're wondering why we're wearing white. On the topic of godparents. On the topic of godparents. I don't uh, know if there's a certain way you want to do this. Um, well, I mean, let's just say I, I found a quote online, okay? Um, and I want to share this, or not even a quote, I, I share this this piece of knowledge, right, that I saw online and I thought well, it was... He's yelling now because he's nervous. I'm kidding, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I mean, the reason we're wearing white today is because obviously we're talking about this topic and like we feel like the soul, the spirit, the family is very much a pure topic. Um, and, you know, on the internet, we actually searched this up and I decided to include this here. But one of the biggest issues or, or not even issues, but one of the biggest, I guess, decisions, right, you make when you first have a child is selecting the godparent. Which is I'm gonna use an example for this yes, too. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, I had someone come to me asking me about who she should select for her child's godmother, and in that she gave me a few people, and I was like, "Listen, this person, what happened with them? You guys stopped being friends for however long you guys had a falling out. If like this is your child's life and responsibility, like it's a really big decision, guys. Yeah. Like huge. You know what I mean? If you had a falling out with them in the past." why would you want to choose them to be responsible for your child? You know what I mean? Exactly. It's it's a really big emphasis on it's a really big decision. And like, there's a lot of thought that you get put or that has to be put into it. And so if like someone asks you to be 
um, a godmother, a godfather, yeah, father, father, <laughs> father, a godfather, a godfather. Like that is a big thing, and it means that they truly value who you are as a person, and like how you represent yourself, how you carry yourself. Like it shows that your good intentions are really showing through. Exactly, and and, and that just shines through your character, right? Because you got asked. To be a no, but parent. I mean in general. Anyone... But, in ge- but in general, but also I'm just trying to relate back to you as well. Let's like... not talk about <laughs> me right now, but thank you, darling. So one of the quote I actually found online was, selecting a godparent isn't just about choosing a friend or a relative. It's about choosing someone who will guide, protect, and be there for your child, much like a second set of parents. I was shaking my head to the beat of your voice. I yeah, yeah, like, you're like, mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> And I feel like you need someone so nurturing and someone so caring. Um, and like... When I think of, of that, I, I think of my own dad. Um, and, like, Tassos, if you're watching, I, I think of... Tassos, you, know, you better be watching. You better be watching. You better, you be, better watching. be watching. Because um, my dad is probably one of the most caring people in the world. He's the most kind, most generous people. Um, like, it's... it's He's... Every kid loves him mm-hmm. because he will literally go and he'll make bird noises and he'll play with them and he'll put them on his shoulders. And like, he's a very tough, if you look at my dad, he looks very tough, yeah. right? He's a very tough dude. But when it comes to children, he's so light and fun. And he's everyone, got a gentle side. A yeah. gentle side, right? And everyone loves him for yeah. that. Well, even me, I've only interacted with him a couple of times and like all of those interactions have been yeah. smooth and easy. And I think your father's a great guy. Yeah. And, so. and. That's the thing, right? And it's um, it's just something I wanted to point out, right? Because when you're thinking of people who would be a good fit, it's like you want to look for those qualities, yeah. right? He's um, also, from the way that you speak about him to me all the time, I'm going to put emphasis on this, Tasso, for you to hear, um, in case you don't hear it from Mano enough, because I'm sure as parents and kids, we always forget to spit that out there sometimes. But Mano speaks really highly of you and a lot of the lessons that he holds um to guide himself and direct himself do directly come from you and a lot of stories mm-hmm. i hear a lot of just stuff that he implements into his life or he shares with me always like relates or not relates relates back to you and what you've taught him yeah well i mean thank you for putting on this i mean hey i it is it is true but um yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how to follow that up, but thank, no, thank you, you for putting that you up. You keep saying um, what you were going to say. I yeah, just yeah, 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 to yeah, no, no, no. I, I said, no, thank you for doing that. Um, and and I know what, that mic picked up on your chest. Yeah, bang. yeah, I'm on the chest bang, right? I, I'm feeling like I'm like, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I mean, hopefully he is, thank he's thank listening right now. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and so, like, I was obviously, as I was saying, right, he's a very positive person and everyone loves him. And some people that love him specifically are the Zechens, um, specifically George and Mira. And it's actually funny because um, George's dad, who's also named George, is my godfather. Really? Right? And so there's there's one thing that I want to ask you, Tassos, and it's more specifically coming from Mira and George, and they would like you to be Michael's godfather. <laughs> So, are you crying? Are you, are are you, you crying yet? Did you say yes? Um, it's. I'm. I'm assuming right now that they are with you guys and they're showing you this episode because that's kind of the plan. We devised this whole. This whole episode is was made for them to ask you to be Michael's godfather. Um, and I don't think there's anyone perfect enough to be that person. Just as we just described, right? We wanted to build that up. That up. Up that suspense. You might have already seen it coming. Uh, but I really think that you would be a great fit and. I already know that you're probably laughing right now, looking at the screen, saying, oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) But that's the beautiful part, right? It's, for me, when Mira came to me originally and and asked asked us, like, hey, could could we make this possible? Um, It's a beautiful, like, circle of love and life, because... George's dad is literally my godfather. Yeah. Right. And the fact that he's everything my go- comes full circle. Everything comes full circle, right? Yeah. And and I think it's so fitting that um it goes this way, and especially on our podcast, right? For yeah. eternity, like you have this memory of you know. Tassos, you better you better say yes. Uh, don't worry, I'll, no I'll pressure. I'll make sure. All the pressure. <laughs> All the pressure. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much. What this episode, the the main goal of this episode was to ask you that, Dad. So I hope that you um, 
already accepted this and you guys are all celebrating and happy. Um, but I'm so glad. And thank you to Mira and George for allowing us the opportunity. Thank to... you. No, Mano asked me, and I don't know if you remember, but I was like, yep, yep, yeah. yes, let's do it. Like, there was no, yeah. I don't know, I love stuff like this, and I think it's so beautiful to be a part of it as well. Like, I, yeah. they don't know who I am. Well, they... They, they know, for... but we've never interacted with each other before and i'm sitting here with mano as he asks so i think that's a pretty amazing thing hey i mean no i know that that's why i like when mira first asked i was like oh my god this is amazing like this yeah. is this is we have to do it um and it's thank you a lot again for letting us post on the podcast as well and sharing it with everyone um you know from the outside world they we very much appreciate it i know that for a fact and um to all our listeners, I think we should take a moment to cherish the bonds of love, you know, that are around us yeah. and just really take in that, like... A moment of gratitude. A moment, for... yeah, right? A yeah. moment of gratitude to, to just realize, like, all the connections we have in our lives and the amount of love everyone has for each other beyond words, right? And and we just wouldn't really want to emphasize that, and that's why we're wearing white, because purity, love... This is also the dress I wore to my uh to Jackson's yeah. baptism. So no, we were getting ready and I was like, Man, oh, we have to wear white. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing an announcement. It was her idea. We it was have her to idea. wear white. Um and it was funny because I, I actually did not know how to go about doing this and I was like, How should I do it? Like how sh- you know, what, what what are we gonna do? We're gonna be some reciting the fucking yeah. Bible right yeah, now. Yeah, we're gonna be reciting the part Bible what's happening. Part of my like, I need to stop swearing. <laughs> this is the worst episode to be swearing on. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm I, so sorry. They're all adults. Don't worry. I know, but still. my mother, my mother. You know what my mother might say? Yee. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. <laughs> um. So, but other than that, no. It's yeah. I didn't know how to do this. I'm glad that we were able to get it off our chest and finally tell you the surprise or the secret is out. Um. And and I hope that this journey, there, this next path in Michael's life. Um, in your lives are amazing and it continues to prosper and, and be like just the most amazing experiences you guys will ever experience in your entire lives that sounds like a, I sound like a broken record I'm gonna say you sound like you're trying to put words in an essay <laughs> I, I, I sound like I kind of <laughs> fill the word, word with it right <laughs> um, but no it's that's I mean the gist of it I'm just gonna give you a hug <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I think it's so special. I think it's really special. And I also, think... can, we, can we take in that I was looking at the camera like a psych- psychopath? I was like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Uh-oh. yeah. Also, like, when you film podcasts, you're not necessarily supposed to be looking at the camera. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're looking... I, I'm just looking directly like, at it. this is our YouTube channel. This is our YouTube channel, guys. No. So, so yeah, sorry. I cut you off. No, it's okay. Don't worry. But, yeah. No, I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I think again before if you're listening to this take a moment of gratitude if there's someone that you want to reach out to um that you haven't talked to in a while or that you're just thinking of that you love and appreciate and you value um don't be afraid to send them a message give them a call send them a voice memo anything um and don't be afraid to be your authentic self when it comes to showing love to the people that you love and appreciate right because we only live once yeah. um even if it's social media if it's in person wherever it is wherever you can connect to them from don't be afraid to show that love and make sure that they feel it and make sure that even if we have our own personal doubts and stuff at least they know that that is there and mm-hmm. you are there near or far supporting them Absolutely, and I think that's a beautiful place to end off. So thank you, everybody, for listening to today's episode. If you would like, you can go wish Mira and George congratulations, and Tassos as well, congratulations, um, because I'm assuming he's going to say yes. No, he's going to. Um, he's saying yes. He's saying yes. He already he, he, said he, yes. He already said yes. He already said yes. Yes. So yes. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're affirming. We are. Yes. We are on the yes. board. We are on the board. <laughs> we are on the board. Um. So yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any other ideas for uh, future podcast topics, I love guests, requests. I love this. I love that we did this. I'm emphasizing what yeah. Mano's saying. Sorry, I'm the background singer no, no. right now. <laughs> requests. Requests. Put your requests in. 
we love this because wow. it gives us a, a, a direction to go in, but also gives us something meaningful because yeah. we know that other people want want yeah. to listen. And like obviously, all of our episodes um, are going to be done with intentions, but yeah. I think it's beautiful to incorporate other people's um, intentions or desires in there as well. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for listening to the show this week. You can subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. You can write to us at embodimentpod at gmail.com. And if you want to send us a DM, it's at embodiment.pod. Or if you'd like to follow us or message us personally on Instagram, it's at emmanuelseries and at ashley.fry. I'm Ashley. And I'm Mano. And you've been listening to Embodiment, who you are behind closed doors. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful day, babies. And I am so grateful for you.